some other topics, and have been spending most of my life dealing with uh, the festivals and the events industry as a practitioner before I started teaching. Now, when I started in this industry some 25, 30 years ago with public events and how do you engage audiences and how do you make good programming, how do you deal with sponsors, these types of things, of course, I didn't know what type of path uh, my career at the time was going to lead me on. Uh, and it's amazing to see today how the world has become closer, how we uh, have understood to share from it with each other, to learn best practices, uh, to uh, share our commitments in the festivals and event industry. Technology has done a lot to that in recent years. Uh, the IFE Europe conference always seeks to bring together practitioners, uh, researchers, uh, people who are working in cultural uh, fields in the municipalities uh, with the aim of sharing best practice. If someone goes into the festivals and events industry thinking that it's just a regular business, I think in many ways they are wrong. Without the commitment, without the passion, without the drive, without the sense of responsibility, without the sense of purpose and the desire to serve, you probably cannot spend your time in the festivals and events industry. Commitment to success, um, dedication to working sometimes odd hours, uh, persuading other people that you're doing the right thing, uh, getting them on their side. Your sense of purpose in terms of what you're doing to serve the community, what is the greater good of what you're doing. Uh, a passion maybe for the art form that you are exercising within your, your field and, uh, of, of uh, festival or events. And this, I decide to serve audiences and artists. Um, however, all of those passions cannot be dealt with, cannot be uh, explored, uh, used to take to the full potential without some very not, uh, practical skills in terms of sponsorship, uh, management, in terms of how do you actually run a business, how do you set a strategy, etc. The demands are growing on this, this industry. And you cannot, I think, be in the industry unless you have a sense of um, curiosity, curiosity for new technology nowadays, curiosity for demographics of your community and its development, and a curiosity in terms of programming and presenting. You are, hopefully, in this room, surrounded by people who share that type of passion. People who are willing to commit their life or a portion of their life uh, to presenting things to other people in this field. So take this opportunity while you're here, not just to listen to speakers who do themselves indeed share that passion and have that commitment, but also to share with each other uh, in breaks and at other times uh, what you're doing, what is your past, how do you do it, where do you see yourself going in the future, and what can you learn uh, uh, from others, and what can you teach to others. We all have something to give, and we all have something that we can still learn, even if we've been in the, in the industry for many years. Uh, we have with us this morning uh, people from 15 different countries. Not everyone is here for the conference yet. will be a total of 105 uh, over the next two days. Um, and uh, some of the speakers that we have are actually very dedicated and have been for many years in this industry. So I hope you will receive them well. Uh, one that you already met last night that I'd like to introduce now is uh, the uh, CEO of Rotterdam Festivals, Johan Moorman, who has shown great passion not just to the festivals and the vendors industry uh, in uh, Rotterdam uh, to develop this city, but also in terms of commitment to the international festivals and events industry. And we are very appreciative, uh, the Board of IFA Europe, let's speak on their behalf, certainly and our members, that you uh, were willing to host the IFA 20th anniversary conference uh, in the city that we've also hosted in 20 years ago. So thank you very much, have a good conference, and Johan Moorman, please welcome him. Good morning uh, and welcome in Rotterdam. We're uh, very happy to have you here again. Uh, last night I already uh, told you some things about the event policy in, uh, in Rotterdam. I'm not going to repeat that, but uh, I think you understood how important festivals are for the city. 
an average of 70% of, of, of the Rotterdammers uh, go to three festivals each year. That alone, except apart from all the people who come to the city, creates a great tradition. Um, and and uh, let us see how important it, it is to make your, your city a great place to live. Um, in this conference, uh, I'm sure we will talk about all the spin-off of events, about the economic impact, uh, about uh, the position of cities, about the role it can play to bring new audiences to, to art institutions. And that's important. But in the end, it's all about touching the hearts of the people, of our visitors. And I'm very glad that I saw that in the program there are some speakers talking about this subject. And I think in, in uh, a time where not all the money we want to have is available, and uh, that, that creating more value for our visitors is still possible and, and can, can be done. So I'd like to talk about it. Uh, and in the end, um, we create wonderful memories for our visitors, and they go home taking our city in, in their minds with, with them and create better places uh, to live. Now, this is a, a, great, a great job for all of us, and uh, we, we all do it with passion, Alan talked about that, uh, and, we, and we also know it's very hard, and that especially in these days. And in, in these circumstances, it's, it's great to know that we are part of a worldwide network of, of colleagues that, how far we are apart, uh, speak the same language. And I always am inspired by talking to, to colleagues from, from anywhere. Uh, can be a city, can be a small village, can be uh, Singapore where they have a lot of money or, or, or a place where they don't have money at all. There is always the passion and the inspiration that, that I take home with me. And I hope you are able to share this passion together, not only in the session but also during the breaks and the evening hours. Because that's for me what it's all about. We are very proud that uh, IFEA has chosen Rotterdam as its place for the conference. You were here in uh, 2092, and again in 2001 when we, we were the Europe's cultural capital. And uh, it's good to have you back here, and I hope that all the great memories that I know you have from former conferences will be repeated here. And uh, I wish you inspiring days, and if, if you have any need of uh, knowing something from Rotterdam, we are here uh, to explain to you. Have a great conference. Thank you.